Hey everyone, welcome back. I am Lauren Watson, your independent Scentsy consultant, and you are here, I am here for another edition of What Have I Been Warming? So, it is a semi-full basket, not too, too crazy, um, but I'm gonna go through all of the Scentsy items that I've been using, so these are all empties, and um, so that you can kind of see what is, um, what are the things that I've been using? What are the things that maybe you like the same of and get some ideas of um, some good stuff. So as you might've seen, the first thing when I flipped it over is a big brick of pink poinsettia. So this is actually, uh, did this come out last year? Last, last winter, I'm gonna say, um, but I bought a brick, I bought a brick and no wait yeah poinsettia sorry i was thinking i have some other ones from spring so i was getting confused because this smells really good this is actually a scent i could see myself warming this outside of christmas it's really really it's really nice i will miss this um who knows if it's going to come back next season um but i'm kind of like I like to try new things, so finishing things isn't going to kill me. Like a couple of things, if I don't have them, I'll be like, eh, I'm gonna freak out. But um, otherwise, I'm okay with finishing things because I like to try new things. So I officially finished my brick of pink poinsettia. And I also finished another brick of pink apple and nectarine. So this, while well, that one was from, um, a couple falls, a couple, meh, I can't remember if it was last year or the year before that, um, from fall and winter. This is from a spring brick collection that we had. Pink, pink apple and nectarine. Mm, this smells good. I almost, I think I almost prefer this one over, the, over this one. This um, has like, I don't know why, it shouldn't have maple in it, but for some reason I'm getting maple right now. It does smell good. It's kind of fruity, um, which it should be because it's pink apple and nectarine. But obviously I liked it enough to finish it. I would have made some samples out of any brick I have um, just to like get the word out there for people who are interested in either like ordering it or putting it in the club. Um, but yeah, so I finished this one too. So that's 10 pounds of wax. Is that right? Is it? A, no, I'm sorry. Two pounds of wax. Why did I think it? Oh, I know why. Because each, each brick is one pound of wax and is five and a half ish bars, bars of wax. Do I have a bar next to me? I'll have one in here. So it's in comparison. I'll show you the back side so you don't see it yet. So it's five and a half of these inside of this. So that's a lot of wax. Um, that's where I got the five from. Okay, so that one's done. While I have this one in my hand, I will show you that the next bar that I finished is called Blackberry Orange Marmalade. So this is, um, was a bring back my bar. I don't normally, I have not, so a bring back my bar is an oldie but goodie bar that people will vote on to bring back because they miss it. It's not in the current catalog, so it's voted on. And then it, if it gets in a vote, and, it, and then it comes back. They offer us um, consultants a way to buy all of them ahead of time so that you can like sample it out to your customers if you want. Um, things like that. Half of them, I don't know, and I've never smelled them, so I'm always scared to buy them. I think I bought it once and, um, you know, it's just... I don't want to take a chance of a lot of stuff that I may or may not like. Since it says bring back my bar, I have a feeling that I just wanted to try the bar and so I bought it. So, cause you, you can do that. So blackberry orange marmalade, that smells good. It's like, um, I think it was the orange, well, the orange and the blackberry together. So I'm, oh, I'm always on the hunt for like that that Kirkland smell, you know, like when you walk in the store and it's like every sachet 
the, the scent mixed all together. Like that's what I want. Um, this one's a good one. Yeah. I would not be sad if this like came back into the catalog, um, for real, instead of just having it be a, a one-time order thing. I could have, or I could have put it in my club. I did not put it in my club. So it is what it is. Like I said, I like to try, um, different things and that's okay. Okay. So the next bar out is called Homestead Holiday. This was part of a, I can't remember which collection it was. We had like Sense of the Season. We had the ones from the actual um, winter catalog that was like the five in a bas in a baggie. This one might have been from that. Mmm, this one's good. You know, I am so ready for spring and summer, but like sniffing these is making me miss fall and winter. You're never happy. We're never, we're never happy, are we? Okay, this one smells really nice. It's um, a lot of cinnamon in it, but it's one of those where it's just like, like it, it's just a homestead, you know, like you walk in, if this is warming in your house, it, you know, feels so nice and cozy. So that one, that one was a good one. I feel like, I wanna say, oh, it says right here, it's part of the Sense of the Season collection. I wanna say this has been around once before. Don't quote me on that. I don't know. Okay. So I'm going to grab from the top here. This I actually just added in here today. I had to change my air purifier, um, filter. So, um, yeah, I did that. I will open this up and show you, um, what this dirty filter looks like. I don't have the new filter, but uh, I just kind of wrapped it up. You can see that it's it's pretty gross and it's pretty dirty. Um, I, yeah, it's it's full of dust and dirt. And compared to, here's my cup. Anything white where it should be white, it's not. The brand new one is, is white, white. So this is um, my filter that had been in my... I'm trying to remember the last time I ordered a filter. Probably, I'm sorry, changed my filter. I don't know, it's maybe been at least a month, maybe two. Um, and honestly, I don't even know what like the lifespan of these are each supposed to be. There's an indicator light on the filter that um, lights up when it's dirty and ready to be changed, just like any filter you have on your you know, um, refrigerator or something like that. <clears throat> and so it lights up to, to tell you it's ready to be changed out. But, you know, everybody's house is different. So who's to say that mine and my house lasted, you know, two months, maybe yours lasts three months. Or if you have even more dogs than I do, then maybe it only lasts one month. So yeah, anyway, I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to look it up and see like if there's a, a general life times whatever on these things but um yeah oh god there's dust just from me taking it out um yeah so anyway the air purifier this uh, the one i just put in was my last one so now i will need to um place another order for those okay, let me start moving these out of my way and let me swipe that away off my phone okay got another bar in sugar plum berry this was um, a really, really nice one. Sense of the season. I liked this one a lot. Yes, I had, um, I did a, um, a vendor event and I made the mistake of melting this at my event because then everybody was like, what do you have? What are you warming? Where is it? And I'd be like, oh, um, well, it was part of like this five bar collection and I I was willing to split it up, but I still only had one of these bars. So anyway, rookie mistake, what are you gonna do? Uh, this one's good, but this one was a good one. This one had been out before and it came back. So yeah, this is another one of those, like the Homestead Holiday where it's like, if you have that in your house warming, you just are like, yes, it's the holidays and it's so cozy in here. And here's another one. Rum Pum Plum. This was part of, this was, um, 
I think this is one of the new, the new scents from the season. Every, every catalog we get 10, 10 new scents and this was one of them. Mmm, this smells good. This is what this one was kind of like, um, I don't want to say bakery. It kind of reminds me of like a little bit of baking. I don't, I don't know what categories these all fall under, but anyway, again, another cozy scent. Put that right there. Now, I think all of these bars so far, I, I would have put anywhere, anywhere except for my bedroom, anywhere from the living room to the kitchen to the entryway to my um, husband's office slash dining room. Okay, Shimmer. This is not one you can get anymore. This is part of my club that I have set up for myself. So when these came back one time on, I bring back my bar um, collection, I bought it, I smelled it, I loved it, I added it to my club. That way, even though it's not in a catalog anymore, since he continues to make for me forever and ever. <sighs> this smells so good. I finally figured out um, I have a sh conditioner. I can't remember now what it's called, but it's like in a purple bottle. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, uh, the very first time I used it, I was like, oh my God, what does that smell like? I'm like, is that Cozy Cardigan? Which is like one of my favorites. I was like, is that Cozy Cardigan? And it took me a minute. And then finally, like two times of washing my hair, I was finally like, oh my God, no, it's Shimmer. It's Shimmer. So it's nice to smell every time I wash my hair. Okay, another bar, Perfect Peppermint. Again, just sticking with the season. Ah, this smells good. I would have probably just put this in my kitchen uh, because it is so pepperminty. Um, the girls don't necessarily like a lot of uh, baking scents. Um, I do, uh, to a point. Like, I don't want a lot of like all the sugar cookie, all of that type of stuff. But if it smells like I like, um, what's that one called? Uh, blueberry cheesecake. They don't. I love it. Uh, I like cooked dessert scents, I guess. Well, that doesn't make sense because I don't like sugar cookie, but like um, maybe if it has like fruity, plummy stuff like that in it, whatever. It doesn't matter because that's peppermint. So we're getting beyond here. Okay. So here's another bar. Hey, Tiger Lily. This, was, this one was an old one. So I have a basket um, that has like all the clamshells that have like one, two bars in it, just random, like my used bars that I try to pull from so that I'm not only using um, new bars, you know? So I was like, I, I wanna use them up. So this one was most likely in there and because it was a scent of the season, I'm sorry, it was a scent of the month from last, from last spring for sure. Mm, but it sure smells good. Dang, I love all these scents. I should have saved them all. Nah. There's more coming. Okay, that would have been an everywhere scent too. Oh, oh okay, here's a non-wax. Um, room spray in Arctic Kiss. So I wanna say I've had this one a really long time, like a long, long time. This, these lasted forever. This might've even been from two years ago, three years ago. I mean, obviously we don't spritz it every time. Uh, I did keep, we did keep this in the bathroom um, in our hallway guest bathroom. Um, so it's not like it was used all the time. So it lasted um, a really long time. Um, but yeah, so finally, we finally pumped it and you know, nothing else came out. So we said, well, it is cached, so we'll put it there now. Okay, oh, okay. So here's another one that I used. This is a two-parter. Um, I used these today. So in changing my air purifier, I changed the pods with it. And the pods I had in there were apple picking. So these still smell good. And they're pretty worn down though. So these were what I took out of the air purifier from um, what had been in there. And I actually put jeweled pomegranate in there um, 
right now. So I'm going to hang on to this one. So I'll probably talk about it again the next time I do my video since it's still in there and I haven't finished it yet. Technically, I just needed the, um, the container. Is that it? Oh, I, I have two things left. Okay. Number one, dryer discs. Are you familiar with the dryer disc? Because not a lot of people are. Um, it is, so, you know, we have a laundry system, which is like, uh, the detergent, the with the, the scent crystals that go in the laundry. And then as an extra scent booster for the dryer, we have these dryer discs. They are, I don't know what they're made out of, but they're hard. Um, they roll around with your clothes and it gives an extra scent, a uh, boost of freshness and scent. This smells so good because guess what it is? Lavender cotton, our favorite. So I went ahead and pulled a new package of, um, let me see if that'll stay, of um, dryer discs so that you can see how they come. This is a box in pink cotton and uh, we have the Laundry Love bundle. So if you were to get the detergent and whiffs and this, it would come like as a package. And of course you can buy everything separately. So it comes as a two pack, it comes like this. You would just use one at a time, obviously. And um, and that's it. So it has, oh gosh, I'm not going to remember off the top of my head. The lifespan on this is a long time. I think it depends on how often you use it. If you throw it in the dryer with every single drying thing. Like, I like it for my clothes. My husband's not going to put it in for his clothes. He's also, we're not going to maybe put it in with the towels. Um, depending on who's the one doing the laundry. If it's me, it goes in. If it's, um, we know one of my daughters, she'll throw it in. The other one, no. Him, no. So, um, but anyway, so yeah, I think the lifespan on this is a long time. I've had this a while. I still think it smells good, but maybe it's just not like as, you know, getting my clothes right where they want to be, you know, for scent, scent purposes. Um, so that's why it's in this basket as being done. So if you've never seen dryer discs before, um, look them up because they are, um, or I'll link it below because, um, they're definitely a great addition to any laundry system. Okay. And the last, last thing I have in here is an empty fragrance flower. Um, let's see what this one was. Vanilla bean buttercream doesn't really smell anymore. It like this much smells like vanilla bean buttercream. So I did an event. I don't remember when, but anyway, I did an event and I, it was an outdoor event. So I didn't have any plugs or anything like that, but I did have this fragrance flower. So I was like, I'm just going to bring it and, um, I had it already here. And I was like, um, I, I'm just going to put it out for everybody to be able to smell and to be able to, you know, just get an example of, of what, um, a fragrance flower is. Whew, I'm going to knock all my stuff over. And, um, and, and, you know, to be able to smell it and see it and, and know what, what, what the product is. Y'all, this thing scented the entire space. Like people were like, whoa, what is that smell? And be like, it's the flower. It's crazy. It was crazy. And I had never bought the vanilla bean buttercream one before. And so it was, it was really cool actually just to see um, people's reactions and my own reaction to be like, whoa, this is, this is a really good smelling flower. And, and it wafted like everywhere. So that was pretty cool. So anyway, finish this. Um, sometimes I'll put these in my study um, or my half bath. Uh, my hallway guest bathroom as well. And it's just an easy, simple way to have um, fragrance in a room without having to have a plug. You could put them, you know, right next to your desk. Uh, if you're in an office, it's a perfect, um, perfect fragrance option. They don't always look like this. This is now that it's like dried out and looks weird and gross. Um, so yeah, there's always, there's a little, um, what do you call it? A uh, piece of wire in here. So you can kind of move the, um, move the flower, you know, like shape it, 
the stick in a way so that when you have oil, this is normally filled with oil in case you don't, in case you are not aware. And this is like a, um, what do you call those things? A, uh, uh, a reed, a reed diffuser. Um, you would stick the wick into the oil and then it sucks it up and it comes out this wood. This, these petals are actually made of wood. It's crazy. So you can hear how dry and brittle they are now. Um, but yeah, so this would have been soaked up with oil and um, that's it. So makes it beautiful. A little decoration for your space. So let's see how this is going to hang on. Let's do that. Oh, okay. And she's officially empty again. So um, yeah, so hopefully I'll be filling it up again soon. The, uh, you know, we are officially in transition month for catalogs. We are finishing out fall and winter catalog right now. Uh, just about everything in the catalog is 10% outside of licensed items. You can't, we can't sell, uh, put a sale on those. Um, but yeah, so everything else is 10% off in the catalog and what else? New catalog, spring and summer, starts on March 1st. So if you need to stock up on any fall and winter, because again, we don't know what's coming back next fall and winter. Uh, there's no guarantees. Um, let me know. I will put a link all to um, to my to my site below. And um, yeah, that's it. So hope y'all have a great rest of your day and I will catch y'all next time. Bye.